Hello, today we would like to introduce uh, the electronic system which is on board of our machine consoles. For example, here is a new five-manual console and uh, the system that is on board uh, can satisfy all the needings for, of each organist. Uh, you can see there is a small display on the top of the fifth manual where, which reports all the information of uh, settings, uh, of uh, crescendo pedals, uh, adjustable combinations, and so on. Our system is uh, developed in Italy and uh, can control an infinite number of uh, organists. Uh, each organist has more than 5,000 combinations that can set independently one to each other. And uh, the easiest way to set independent combination is to, with a um, proximity sensor, the organism simply goes near this component with his proximity sensor. The electronic system recognizes who is the organist and set all the function of the console for his needings. Uh, Apart with uh, small displays on the top, we install, in this case, a hidden display, a touch screen panel, on which you can change all the settings you need uh, and uh, for the console. As I told you, there are up to more than 5,000 memory levels for each organist. You simply can preset the level you want or you can go on the setting buttons. For example, you want combination number one. The stops comes on and you see there is combination number one on level one. The same information it is reported on the bigger display. The system, of course, is equipped with a sequencer, so if you go and push advance on the sequencer, you have the stop changes, the levels are the same. As far as we have 12 combinations on each level, you will see that going forward with a sequencer, we reach number 12, then we pass to level 2 automatically, combination 1, and so on. You can also go backward with a minus button. In this case, you go back. When you press the general cancel, everything go back ready. Uh, there are more more function, for example, useful. We have the transposer down here, the crescendo on and off. Maybe you need to, to take it off for a while. On the display, there are ind indication for the position of the shoes. For example, now I'm sitting on the bench and I move the expression shoes. And you can see the bar level, which is moving. So now you can see the same information. It is reported on the smaller display at the top. Now, for example, I need to transpose my music. So I push the transposer button. And I go into the setup of a transposer, and uh, you can see there are minus four uh, position and plus three position. For example, if I turn on a stop on the grate, for example, uh, I let it go, and for example. 
you can hear, hear the sound. I can now swap up to one position, up to two position, and so on. So it's very easy, then you can confirm and store you are going up one tone. You go back simply pressing the zero and you go back to the main menu. Uh, but this is the simplest way. You have more information on it, you have a time, temperature, but there is another menu just holding down your, your finger on it. You go to the main menu where you here have a setup for the uh, combination. You go inside, you, have an, you can generate several archives. So, for example, you can make uh, um, a sequence of combination for each piece of music. And each piece of music can be composed for a concert. So you just have to recall the concert and you have every single piece of music with its own uh, combination setting. Or we go back now on the menu. We have, uh, for example, visualization settings. Here as well, you can change the way to show uh, the step for the um, sequencer. Maybe you want per level or continuous and so on. Now I cannot go forward because it would take too long. But uh, for example, you can change the way you can insert a, a combination between two others if you forget to, forgot to, to introduce them. Or uh, you can renumber all your combination. Or you just can make a backup of all your, your combination simply inserting a pen in the USB drive here. Or we go back in the menu and you have also the menu for the crescendo where you can program your own crescendo. You have up to three personal crescendo simply changing the step number and setting the stops you want on the first, the second, the third step numbers or you can make the select of crescendo you want to use then you have a transposer we already saw keyboards this is another important feature we have on our console you can change the position of on and off of each keyboard so for example if i want my key turning on, opening the palette of the organ, soon, immediately, in this position, I can set it. If I want that goes back off immediately in this position when I release the key, I can do it. I simply have to go in the keyboard setting. What is this useful? For example, I can have two or three preset position for each keyboard. When I play Baroque music, it is important that I can play very fast and so I want the organ to respond very fast. I simply change the position of off and so I set the keyboard to be very fast in response for Baroque music. If I want to play romantic music, I uh, need maybe a different setting. All I can do on this panel is the adjustment. For, I can program each setting for free position, Baroque, maybe Romantic, Symphonic, up to my needings. I can test it and see where I can feel better playing. One more, we go back. Also, you can divide the pedal. Another function, you can have uh, the pedal board divided, splitting in any place you need, you want. 
for example, the bass would play the pedal stops while the treble plays the coupler with uh, keys. This is a function used normally on French organs that can be useful for uh, improvisation. And here you go inside uh, this me menu, which is now not active on this on this system because it was not uh, uh, for to be used. Of course, you have a metronome, and there is a, a general menu for settings where you can change the language of the menu, the display brightness, and so on. The time. You, you can change the, the setting of the thermometers, you can change the password for the administrator, you can change the theme of your, uh, <laughs> of your paneling, you can have brown, you can have blue, and you simply have to, you can change these settings. Then uh, there is a menu for the software update. The system is very reliable and uh, of course there are more other functions uh, we introduce you uh, in, a, in, a next, uh, in a next video. Okay, thank you, thank you for patience of listening and uh, see you soon, bye bye.